been six months since East Palestine, the train derailment, and it's not over. That's why News Nation stays on it. All right. They have fear. They keep saying that things are toxic. Today they got results and they confirm the worst. Joining us now, News Nation investigative correspondent Rich McHugh, here to report that the land is toxic. But let's just get the numbers. Rich, what did they learn? Hey, Chris. So the results are, are the most staggering to date. Scott Smith, this independent testing expert, tested in May, back in May, which was then three months. And he tested right around the, the derailment site and where they burned these, these chemicals. The data is, is, is startling, and I got to read it, 27,000% more dioxins in the soil there than a control sample in a nearby town. The EPA, I asked them about this, they said they found on, also in the area right around the derailment site, they found the same dioxins, 124 parts per trillion. He found them at 600,000 parts per trillion, obviously way more than they did. Uh, residents there I've spoken to have been begging to have their soil in their homes, begging to have their soil tested. The EPA will not test them. They've told, they've told them they will not test their soil. They say you have to go ask Norfolk Southern. This is obviously a problem. The results are staggering, and it's time for people to have their, 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 their homes and their, their lawns tested. And it's, it's kind of a shame that this is not happening at this point. You use the right word. Rich, thank you very much. Shame. Shame Thanks. on you, federal government for making it happen this way. Shame on you if there's nothing to hide, that you're not owning it and doing the testing and being in front of it. Shame on you. Let's bring in East Palestine resident Jessica Conard and the man who conducted the independent soil testing, Scott Smith. Scott, uh, so they come back and say he tested wrong, uh, right in the site is the wrong way to do it, and uh, it depends on what kind of test you do. What are the responses? Well, thanks for having me, Chris. First of all, the EPA is on record accepting my testing results from the certified EPA lab. And uh, my offer remains open with the EPA to test side by side. You can't find what you don't look for. That's why we're looking for it in the soil near the derailment site. It is that simple. And you've, you, you, know, you can't go six inches beneath the soil like some of the EPA testing. You gotta test the surface and you gotta understand where the contaminated dust is settling. Where are you, Jessica, in the freak out factor of the government is not telling us things because they're worried about what comes next. Yeah, I mean, we're certainly freaked out, but, you know, I'm appreciative of people like Scott that are coming in on their own dime. Uh, the truth is always going to come out. And while I'm appreciative of the investigation and, you know, the ongoing investigation, the ongoing testing, it's is it customary to do a criminal investigation before you treat the actual victims? And that's the problem, is that we are ignoring those core issues. We need medical testing. And, you know, Scott's uh, results here prove that, that we are sick, that we are... Ex what we are experiencing is not a hoax. This is something that's real. We need indoor uh, air home monitoring. And I think those are the big takeaways today is that, you know, Norfolk Southern's really good at a PR campaign, really, really good at it. And, you know, the unfortunate truth is that it does take away from and distract from those core issues. So we need Biden to declare an emergency. And I have a team of people and we're headed to Washington, D.C. next week to do just that. Guess we'll cover it. We will. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.